50 Treasures Revisited, celebrating 50 years of James Cook University here in the Cairns Museum, available for viewing all the way to the 28th of October. This selection of the 50 Treasures, curated for Far North Queensland, includes a diverse range of materials, many beautiful things, many rare and fragile treasures. We are proud to host the 17 treasures in the Cairns Museum, which possess particular significance to Far North Queensland. Some of them are here in their physical form and some are digitally presented. Treasure number 30 are digitized photo albums of Lori Bragg. Lori used to work and live in Papua New Guinea as an Australian patrol officer between years 1958 1978. Lori's photographs provide a powerful medium for understanding historical encounters during the period of Australian administration in Papua New Guinea. Photographs are traces of time. They arrest the viewer's attention, prompt memories, compel reflections about people and places, and entice rediscoveries of past relationships. Saying that brings me to the orator's chair. This orator's chair, or debating lectern, Lori received in East Sepik province, in one of the villages. It is a stool not to be sat on. It is a stool which prompts village orators to speak. For me, the significance of this stool is about the Far North Queensland relationships going beyond the border. JCU has been collecting rare and fragile materials relating to the history of North Queensland for the last 50 years, creating incredible collections of treasures that tell the story of life in the North, our people, our places and our legacy. The stories of the North are a huge part of the history of our nation and JCU is proud to partner with the Cairns Historical Society and Museum to bring to the people of the Far North region the opportunity to see in real life a selection of the 50 treasures, remembering that all of them have been digitised and can be viewed online at NQ Heritage at JCU. The selection of treasures that is on show at the Cairns Museum is diverse, ranging from amazing artwork such as Betty Hinton's watercolour illustrations of the rare and primitive plants of the Daintree, to Percy Tresize's diaries documenting his expeditions into Quinkin country to find rock art, and to the video footage of Eddie Koike Marbo's 50-minute guest lecture given to JCU education students in 1982 at the beginning of his nation-changing land rights journey. And then this year, we, uh, I think you've all heard that we're, that we're taking the matter to court on the uh, basis of the international common law of uh, occupation and enjoyment.